Hey, this is Budridge and just thought I'd make a short uh, status update video kind of thing here because right now I'm in the middle of uh, um, refactoring my, my web site, web page project here once again. And what I'm doing now is actually removing <laughs> the Tailwind uh, CSS from, from the page. And I know it's it's like you might ask yourself, what are you doing, man? You're just constantly adding, removing some weird uh, new feature. You just jumped on the hype train, blah, 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 you know, yeah. And that is exactly the point, you know, I, I kind of did. I, I went for the hype, but in a way, sometimes you, you kind, of, kind of do that, you know. You test some new uh, technology or whatever, but it's also good to understand that maybe... Uh, maybe this is not for me, you know, and then also uh, uh, remove it uh, before it's too late, so to speak. So just have a look at this document here. This is uh, before refactoring here uh, with all the Tailwind CSS in, in the document. I guess we have to do this and, and, and this is one reason because it Normally, this is my style, you know, I have 50 character uh, uh, ruler here, so I really don't like when my lines go longer than this. But with Tailwind CSS, they sometimes go, look at this, 89 column wide. Uh, and, and you get all of this uh, weird stuff here. But with the benefit, of course, that you don't uh, get a, 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 a cryptic, weird, strange CSS. But this is also cryptic and weird and makes it really super weird uh, when you start adding Hugo stuff to it as well. Uh, and it's also very easy to, to kind of lose track of, of this document because I'm here I have set this ID here, article content. That's just an ID uh, attribute that I, I added to this. Uh, well, I guess this is a bad uh, example here. But just to, to, to be able to know which uh, element I am actually styling here, because it stops making sense after a while. Let's see, I, maybe can, I can open a, a, another one. Partials sidebar, I believe this one is also... Yeah, here, here you can also see I added this. Imagine this without these ID things here. It's really difficult to understand what's going on, in my opinion. Um, but uh, so, so I started refactoring out this stuff. So now the same document here, these two are the same document. Maybe the sidebar one is even more extreme. I have refactored that as well, but now without the uh, Tailwind CSS. But that of course, of course means that you have to move the styles uh, to where they are supposed to be. And right now I just created one SAS file here with all the styles, so we move this uh, out in different files but you know it's not that to me this makes more sense it and it also suits my workflow a lot more and uh, probably the most important factor here is uh, that it slowed down uh, the refresh rate of the page quite a lot when I was using uh, using this uh, Tailwind CSS when you write the CSS normally in CSS files it's, uh, it's actually faster uh, well, uh, as long as you stick with only using, uh, um, uh, when, when you write the CSS uh, or, and Tailwind CSS classes like this. This is actually great, it, it, it's uh, fast refresh rates and it also creates very fast web pages when it's done. But I, I don't feel it makes that much of a difference and it, uh, it instead it makes the, the workflow more inconvenient, adds uh, more than a few dependencies uh, like 400 different weird uh, node JavaScript package packages that I don't uh, even want to know what, what they are about. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm removing it um, and I have spent about... Um, two hours doing this uh, uh, and I, I'm like halfway halfway done um, and I actually recorded this process of me uh, 
refactoring this uh, HTML here. Uh, in these two weblog videos, they are about uh, one hour long each, and I will probably make two more. And my plan is to, when when it's done, I will concatenate those four videos and um, use them as a background for a, a, a podcast uh, thing. Whatever. We'll see what happens with that. I, I, I don't want to make any more uh, uh, promises uh, about that. Uh, yeah, and here, here we can see the videos I had on, on, on web dev here. So you can see I am a bit uh, uh, schizo when it comes to this, it might appear, but that that's just what happens when you step into this world and that's also why why i kind of ha had to make a break here i got so tired of, of this uh this stuff it's so much more fun in my opinion to work with uh, shell scripts and other type of programming and rising and stuff you know this web dev thing is is really not my cup of tea uh, but nevertheless i want to I want to finish this homepage and now I, I've been working on this back and forth since uh, September I think I started this so it's almost like half a year here recreating a homepage that I already had you know it's uh, whatever but I, I really need to do this so that's one thing I've been doing here or that's what I'm doing right now and I will continue with it uh, after this video but another thing I've been doing since uh, the last video is actually a new um, new thing here. I, I got it here on, on github.com uh, slash budrich slash rogert. Uh, and rogert is a clipboard manager. I will make uh, a video about this. And uh, yeah, some of the finds here, I've, I, I think, uh, think I, I stumbled on upon some uh, interesting uh, ideas and, and things you can 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 do with um, binding modes and, and stuff like that but whatever let's uh, save this for, for a video but if you want to you can you can take a look at this repo and even if you want you can also test it I, I don't know um, but that's a, that's another thing I've been doing. But I have to uh, try to focus on, on the homepage, so it will probably not be a new video in a couple of days, but and the uh, next video might be that uh, podcast thing. And that podcast thing will be like me more freely speaking, not demoing any pr uh, uh, project or, or tutorial or something. Maybe, I, I don't know, I thought maybe something something in the lines of my linux journey or maybe my rising journey or something like that have a great day everybody peace